This is Casey Hoffman with Real Island News. Coming up in this episode, we did an exclusive interview with the Cabana Dogs poolside. Have you seen it? We're going to show you a quick recap. Parking on Bridge Street is a continuous problem. We're going to hear from Big Sexy about a recent situation. Also, the difference between flip-flops and thongs? And what's up with the monkey bus? Real Island player DCX reports live with a nature and wildlife report. Real Island friends hit the red rocks for a smoking good time. And finally, the teabagging challenge is off to a good start. Real Island player Doug Egan is out in the field and accepting the challenge. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, subscribe to us on YouTube, and click the notification button to get up-to-date information about the show. So let's get to it. First off, Cabana Dogs visited Real Island Studio poolside at the Love Shack. Looks like they got a little wet and wild, so let's go have a look. Would you like some more yes, wine? Yes, I would. Oh, let Ooh, me get you yes. some more wine. I'll talk you all there. Ooh, thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Ooh. So, you know, Cabana Dogs is playing outside. That's pretty awesome. So, so come on, Barbie. Let's go party. What? Barbie? It's Marbie, sir. Mar Barbie. Barbie. So I play another another band called uh, Goodbye Eddie. And Wait, really? I do. We're going to another band now. When oh, this is sorry. a Cabana Dog interview, what, I, I what, think we're fight about this. I think we're going what to have going to break the commercial. You know about this. this you know about this. Uh, You've right accepted it, Kathy. Uh, what the hell? The hell? I can't believe you. Start now. Always, always with all these bands. Oh my god. Don't miss Cabana Dogs at our favorite watering hole, the one and only Drift In on Anna Maria Island, August 12th, starting at 9 p.m. And Jimmy, how do you keep your hair so healthy? Prunes. <laughs> because they're good and they, and they help you shit. So and when you get rid of all the shit, then all the rest of the stuff comes out beautiful. All right. Well, cheers to okay. prunes. If you want to get a full skinny with the poolside interviews, you can watch the full episode over on YouTube. And if you are in the Sarasota area this Saturday, you want to go to the Gator Club where our good friends, Brain Tucky Death Rays, will be performing. Don't miss the show. Speaking of the drift in on AMI, next we're heading over to Bridge Street. It seems some patrons are still confused about parking. Let's hear from Big Sexy himself on the scene. All right, so we're out here at the Drift In parking lot over here with bartender Big Sexy. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Let me ask you a question. If I can, can I park here, grab some drinks, and stick around and watch Concrete Edgar play at night? Absolutely, 100%. Can I park here at the Drift In, buy some drinks, and then can I skip over to see what's happening over at Island Time Bar and Grill? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What happens if I park here at the Drift and leave my car and walk it down Bridge Street? It's going to be an expensive tow. Very expensive <laughs> tow. So if I'm going to park here at the Drift Inn, what do I need to do? Uh, you should pay attention to the sign right here. That's for locals too. Locals, I know sometimes you like to park and drift away. Right here. All right, so we are still over here at the Drift Inn, and we've been talking about parking at the Drift. And guys, uh, you're visiting, are you visiting Anna Maria Island for the first time? Yes. What do you think about this place? Um, I love it. It's yeah. pretty awesome. It's fun, yeah. All right, so the question and the controversy this week has been, uh, can we park at the Drift Inn and not be at the Drift Inn? And the answer is... I don't know what that is. No, we are at the drift in. We are at the drift in right now, and we got a couple. So listen, I'm going to save you guys the ticket and tell you you might want to move your car because they will tow you in no time at all. So that's just a little tip. And see, we had it right here, guys. Uh, no parking at the drift unless you are drinking beer or listening to music inside the drift. Come see me Mondays, one to one. Wednesdays, seven to five thirty, and Saturday. One to one. If you can make it down to Bridge Street, find yourself a parking spot. There's parking over at the public beach, and we got the little tram that you can hop on, and they'll take you right down here to Bridge Street. Do you remember the days when you would throw on your thongs to run to the store? Since when did thongs become flip-flops? Well, here's T-Bone and Bill over at the Lazy Turtle on Anna Maria to fill in the cracks and cover all aspects. Thanks, Casey. T-Bone here. I'm Bill Hill. And we're here today to talk to you about the differences between flip-flops and thongs. This is a flip-flop. And this is a thong. 
flip-flops are worn on your feet. Thongs typically are worn as underwear, though have recently been seen on Anna Maria as beachwear. Uh, flip-flops too can be beachwear, but also can, you can enjoy them all around the island. In fact, T-Bone and I, we wear our flip-flops to work. And we've got the tan lines to prove it. Now, growing up in Wisconsin, this was called a thong. Uh, growing up in Vegas, I can assure you this is a, called a flip-flop. Now, you have the right to wear flip-flops anywhere on the island. Uh, thongs, on the other hand, like spandex, it's a uh, privilege, not a right. I hope this explains the differences between flip-flops and thongs. Uh, so enjoy your most comfortable and appropriate attire around the island. You know, don't mind if I do. Cannot see that. Back to you, Casey. That really clears things up. Sun's out, buns out, as they say. Lazy Turtle is your one-stop shop for all your rental needs on the island and voted number one men's apparel retail store on Anna Maria Island. I wonder if they're selling any of those men's thongs. <laughs> well, moving on. Are you having some trouble getting around on the island? Missing the monkey bus? Or has it even affected you? Well, in case you didn't know, the monkey bus has a wrench in its banana tree and it's no longer running until they can sort out the problem. So here are some great ways to get around Anna Maria Island. Take the trolley, bicycle, take an Uber, or surf on a manatee. Many of our friends got elevated this last week and no, Polly, not that kind of elevated. Some hit the Red Rocks Amphitheater, and some checked out a local Renaissance festival. This is DCX roving reporter for Real Island TV here in Larkspur, Colorado for the Renaissance Festival. And we've got the guests of honor coming through here. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, this one wants a little snack. Oh, and that is... The Nature and Wildlife Report for Real Island TV News, coming at you live from Larkspur, Colorado with DCX. Finally in news, Real Island player Doug Egan accepted the teabagging challenge. Let's see how people respond to his antics. Hey, Terry, you've been teabagged. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. It's teabag. <laughs> Casey. Have you been teabagged? <laughs> so have you been teabagged? You've been teabagged. Sugar bear. Teabagged. Teabagged. I don't know about you, but I'm burning up out here. Hey, Cabana Boy, it's getting hot out here. Can you please uh, help a girl out? Until next time, stay hydrated. And remember, let's all play nice in our little sandbox.